The biggest aviation show in Africa is here again. And in this video, we will explore the monumental Aviation Africa 2023, where dreams took flights and milestones etched in history. It's an amazing conference. This conference started in 2015. It actually launched in Dubai. Very, very first one. At least they've had like three in Rwanda now, one in Ethiopia. It's supposed to actually be a networking event. So the, the whole idea, the whole, the, the bottom line, of course, is to promote aviation in Africa, you know, and address a lot of our challenges and our issues. But most importantly, to create an enabling environment for networking, which is exactly what we're doing right here. And for the first time in its seven years, West Africa took center stage. We don't have any problem with any Middle East airline or any European or uh, any Western airline Coming to Nigeria, coming to even up to 20 destinations, but make sure you fly from your country to those destinations direct and go back from there to your country. If you think it's not pretty, if you want to go to Portacourt, go to Portacourt from your country and go from Portacourt back to your country. But doing city hopping in the name of Bata, whoever signed that should be ashamed of himself. It does not help my nation. It does not help the creation of jobs. It does not help the creation of jobs. And what we are saying, thank you for bringing it up. Because when we come here, it looks as if it's only us talking. These are the things decimating Africa. And we must stand up against such things. Africa has put itself in a position where it does not support its own aviation industry. I actually asked for the 10 most expensive airports in Africa. Number one, believe it or not, in all of Africa, it's Abuja. Followed very closely by Lagos. Watch Nigeria's Honorable Minister of Aviation and Aerospace step onto the global stage of aviation. This will be his first real official event. Witness the moment he soared to new heights and declared the skies open for possibilities. Can we believe that as key players and decision makers, this summit will provide the required atmosphere for you to discuss and identify recovery strategies. It is now my special honor to formally declare the seventh edition of the Aviation African Summit and Exhibition 2023 open. Thank you and God bless you. Aviation Africa is the biggest aviation conference and exhibition show in Africa, and it brought together aviation giants and innovators under one roof, setting the stage for a historic gathering in the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, to chart the future of African aviation. I think Abuja and Nigeria is now ready. Um, the opening of visas to allow people to come in is starting to free the way for people across Africa to come through to help build the economies that will follow by having a, a strong aviation industry. I think it's great that Abuja is hosting the Aviation Africa Conference. Nigeria is one of the largest aviation markets in Africa and it's about time that uh, Abuja is finally a host to Aviation Africa. So very proud to be here. Here we are live. Aviation Africa, Seven Star Global, we are right here. Live. This is a one eight left and one eight right of Aviation Africa and Seven Star Global runway, taking off here from ICC. You, you better recognize. Recognize. We have a lot of interesting companies participating in this year's event. Over 1,500 attendees and more than 100 global exhibitors and sponsors. Excellent. This is um, the first time that Nigeria is hosting such an important uh, exhibition or Aviation Africa event. We are quite excited and uh, we're here with our whole team, Seven Star Hangar, Seven Star Airline and our partners, we're here. Uh, I think the whole idea is just to network, to show the entire African aviation sector what we do what we intend to do, you know, to the world. You can see Airbus is here, Gulfstream is here, Boeing is here, all the aircraft manufacturers are here, and uh, here we are, and it's, it's been exciting so far. Abuja conference is booming. It gets a chance to uh, meet all the people, to get a uh, connection with Africa, Europe, USA, and this is what I'm willing to do, and I'm very, very open to do business with uh, Nigeria. 
is absolutely amazing. It's uh, absolutely a world-class event and we have all the big ballers and the big players and everybody that's involved in aviation in the African continent, this is the place to be. This is to expose our country. It's cost us a lot to host this event, but it's nothing for the image of the country. We've seen ministers coming from the north, from east, from west and from south to be here. We've got director generals, the regulators of the civil aviation industry. Um, they're all here. We've got airline chief executives. We've got airport heads. They're coming together and they're talking together in a way that they don't normally have the opportunity to do. It's a fantastic one. It's for Africa. Just ahead of me, I can see Boeing. There's an airport stand. You have Aero MRO stand side by side with, you know, the big guys. My name is Stefan Hannemann. I'm the Vice President Sales and Marketing at Embraer covering Middle East and Africa. We're really delighted to be here at Aviation Africa in Abuja. Uh, it's been a fantastic conference, very, very valuable uh, thus far uh, since the opening and uh, really great uh, for us uh, to be out here in Nigeria talking to our customer base which is consistently growing in Africa and of course having an opportunity talking to potentially new operators. Africa has 54 countries, uh, there's very strong growth, it's the youngest population on the globe. Uh, just looking at Nigeria, 220 million population, uh, which uh, is uh, forecasted to double by 2050. So there's a lot of uh, young travelers that will be out there uh, and we believe that our aircraft are perfectly suited uh, to have those travelers uh, fly around domestically, but of course also across the region. Uh, so that's where we are particularly strong and we support the airlines we have across the continent to achieve their, their missions and their strategic targets. Hello, my name is Prajot Mirajkar and uh, I work in Airbus Marketing. Um, I work in the African market, so I've been to Nigeria quite a few times. Uh, we have an uh, operator here that we're working with called Ibom Air in uh, Uyo. Um, we have been working with them for the last two years uh, to sell A220s and they'll be starting to fly that aircraft towards the end of the year. Airbus is committed to aviation in Africa, just to make that absolutely clear. Uh, we play a very significant role in Africa um, as a whole. And Nigeria um, is a country with more than 200 million uh, people, which can connect the African continent to the rest of the world. So Airbus has aircraft starting at 110 seats, going all the way to 450 seats. So the range of aircraft gives a lot of flexibility to operators within Ni Nigeria to operate whatever size they want for them to be able to cater whatever market they want to reach any part of the world. It has brought the world of aviation into Nigeria. Everybody in the world knows that Nigeria is a major market if we get our act together. If we get our act together. So they all come here anyway, so we have another opportunity to start again, to showcase ourselves again to everybody. All the key players in every area of the industry are here. We have the capacity, we need to show our best face forward. If Africa is to thrive, and it really needs to be punching much harder because just 2% of the world's um, aviation industry, but yet with nearly 20% of the world's population, there's so much to be done, but it will only be done if governments and industry talk together. And they're doing that here this week. We're already seeing results. Of course, yes, because if you see what this conference, possibly and other ones that, for example, in December, we have what we call the Roadshow. It bringing Africa together because it means that as Africans we need to talk because there is a lot that is going on in other parts of the world like Europe like you have seen in one of the presentations that was given uh, Europe has become like a global village the people can easily um, get from one part of Europe to the other but Africa we are still very separated from ourselves so if we are going to have opportunity to network and talk about the issues that we have I believe we can have a better uh, aviation and I, this is what exactly we are saying, this is where the company has just started, this is what is already coming up uh, through this conference. My name is Stephen Leonard, I'm the Vice President of Global Supply for AEG Fuels. Uh, we're a global 
aircraft uh, aviation fuel distribution company. And what we do is provide all of the airlines here support in refueling operations, international trip planning, ground handling outside of their home country. So they can come to us anytime they have a flight in an airport they're not comfortable with and access a vetted, high quality control, affordable price, on-demand solution for all their flight activities. We work with a lot of great people. We do what we can to build partnerships in each country at each airport. My colleague next to me works with those subcontractors to build a really good offering and make sure that they're taken care of at every airport. Uganda Airlines, uh, we are an airline based in uh, Entebbe in Uganda. Uh, we're four years old now. Uh, operating the youngest fleet in Africa. We have uh, two A3-3800 new aircrafts and four CRJ-900. Specifically, we will be starting operations into Lagos on the 19th of October uh, with a three-weekly schedule on Monday, Thursdays and Sundays. Hope to see you guys on our inaugural flight. A remarkable moment is seeing Ibom Air's rise to the big league. Their induction into IETA's elite circle symbolizes their remarkable journey. Um, delightfully, um, I understand that one of the Nigerian airlines is now joined as a new member of IATA. And George, if I can ask you, the managing director of Ibomea, um, to come on to this stage as well. Yeah. was one of the levers we knew we needed to pull to get to where we are going. Uh, it's the Association of the World's Airlines and uh, if you're not uh, a member of the Association of the World's Airlines then you're not really uh, wanting to be part of the airline community so by becoming a full member now it, it was a process to get here. Uh, we now have the uh, opportunity to partner with several airlines in the world uh, to give our passengers options as we partner with other airlines and um, it makes the business easier for us to do. While Airpeace secures its future with a massive Embraer order. The cheque's been signed, it's the most important bit. Okay, Alan, if I can ask you, for the benefit of the audience, can you just tell us what you've just signed for, please? In line with our fleet's Airpeace fleet modernization policy, we've just signed a further acquisition, a further order of 10 E175 with a firm order for five and five uh, precious rights. That's what we've just done. A transaction that valued at list price is close to $300 million. This shows that uh, this market, this airline uh, is, is moving forward and is taking action. Uh, so I think that's momentous, and I think this deserves an applause. I'm excited. Who wouldn't be? Now we've gone up today to sign another type of Embraer jet for another type of market, the regional market, which is the E-175. And we are buying 10 of these, and we've just paid for five yesterday. So it's not a newspaper. Uh, radio order is a firm order, real order paid for. We are proud of what we are doing. Uh, the Nigerian Airlines are doing okay. And the high point of today's signing is the fact that uh, it's coming with the setting up of a, uh, a maintenance, repair and overhaul center in Nigeria called MRO with the support of uh, Embraer. And Overland Airways made a grand entrance with the arrival of their state-of-the-art E-175 aircraft, solidifying their commitment and their promise to travelers. We have received the first of our order of three Embraer 175 aircraft, two class configuration and all our for We got to the point and we realized that Nigerians deserve the best. I salute my brothers, all my brothers, Alec Buyema, and of peace, air peace, and even uh, here for the choice made also to introduce new aircraft into the country. 
the new aircraft was makes us an airline. It gives you a balancing position that you can build on. It gives us efficiency. It gives you the consumer's comfort. Let's not forget collaboration also took flight at this year's event. Nigeria's Civil Aviation Authority joined hands with its South African counterparts in a new era of international cooperation. It's a technical cooperation agreement which is very technical in nature where we'll be exchanging uh, on aviation safety and security. The Aviation African Conference always lives up to its name. Uh, it's been a very fantastic event, uh, bringing a lot of people, uh, networking, ensuring uh, deals and connections are made uh, that will foster aviation on the continent of Africa. So I always give you the thumbs up. I think the future is very, very positive. And it may be a different future to the one that uh, perhaps a lot of people like to project on. But listen, there's a lot of people here who want to fly. There's a lot of trade that can be done between African countries. There's a lot of families that are spread around the continent that you could visit. Aviation is a need and we can do that sustainably with there's great opportunities. In Nigeria, the, the plans for new airports, for new runways, um, for new MRO capabilities, maintenance capabilities, and most importantly, the opportunity for jobs for young Africans there is a huge, huge potential and it falls on governments to actually enable that to happen and not get in the way by adding unfair taxation, withholding funds and lacking in investment in infrastructure. It does a wrap for the two-day event. I hope you enjoyed the highlights of the show.